Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on identifying the type of different angles. Now there's many things we want to measure in maths, for example the length of something or the weight of something, but sometimes we want to measure the amount that we're turning by. So if I have my pen here and my pen was to spin a certain amount, how do we measure the amount that something is spinning by? And that's what angles are for. So an angle is the amount of turn. So for example, if we have two lines and we say we want to find the angle between the two lines, what we mean is that if we look at where the two lines meet and we put our pen, say, on one of the lines, it's the amount our pen has to turn to get from one line to the other. And we often put a little curvy line to say we're interested in the angle here, the amount of turn. And angles are generally measured in degrees. So this might be an angle, for example, of 40 degrees. And this symbol here, which is like a little circle, so that shouldn't be a blob, let me write that again. So that's a little circle above like that. That is the degrees symbol. And believe it or not, there are other units for angles, but most of you will just see degrees as a unit for angles. Now we're going to look at the different types of angles that you can have in this video. Now, if I draw a little cross like this, and let's say I'm starting by facing in this direction. So this is zero degrees. Now, if I do a quarter turn, so my pen is facing this way initially, and then my pen does a quarter turn to face this way, or it could be I'm turning to face this way, I do a quarter turn, then that would be 90 degrees. That would be the amount of turn that you're doing. And then if you do a half spin, so I spin a quarter turn, then another quarter turn, so in total I've spent a half of the way around, then that would be two lots of 90, so that would be a 180 degree turn. And then if I do another quarter turn, that would be another 90 degrees, so that's 270 degrees. And then finally, when I get back to the start, that would be a full turn of 360 degrees, once we get back to the start. So a full spin, that would be a turn of 360 degrees. Now, if an angle is between zero degrees and 90 degrees, and I'll draw an example in a second, that's known as an acute angle. If the angle is exactly 90 degrees, that's known as a right angle. If the angle is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, that's known as an obtuse angle. And if the angle is more than 180 degrees, so between 180 and 360, that's known as a reflex angle. So that's anywhere between 180 degrees and 360 degrees. So let's draw examples of each of these. We said that a quarter turn is a right angle, and so it would look like this. So that's a quarter turn. And in fact, if we want to indicate a right angle, we put a little square to show that it's exactly 90 degrees. Because if we didn't put that square, it might have been just slightly less than 90 degrees, so like 89 degrees or 91 degrees, for example. So that would be an example of a right angle. If we want an angle less than 90 degrees, so we had a line like this and then a line that's not quite a 90 degree turn, just somewhere less, then that would be known as an acute angle. And then if we want an angle between 90 and 180, so it's more than a quarter spin, but less than a half spin, so it's going to be more than 90 degrees, which would be in that direction. That would be an example of an obtuse angle. And then a reflex angle is any angle over 180 degrees. So it could be, for example, an angle like that. That would be a reflex angle. Well, the angle between here and here, that would be acute there, but the angle on the other side would be a reflex angle. But this diagram here is what you need to remember in terms of the different types of angles.